Hello, everybody. This is Dude with the Food here. I hope you all are doing very well. If you don't mind me, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to enjoy myself a nice glass of Chardonnay because I felt like having some wine while I made this video. So a common question I get asked from a lot of people is, do I ever get sick of making pasta? My response? Absolutely not. Pasta is awesome, and it's simple, and it's tasty. But today, I'm going to be telling you guys about one of my favorite pastas that focuses on one of my favorite things in the world, garlic. Garlic, lots of flavor, lots of umami in it. It's sweet, it's unctuous, it's a... It's that. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys how do I can combine that with pasta. And this dish is commonly known as spaghetti with aglio e olio. Now, aglio e olio is just a common, simple, midnight pasta that focuses mostly on garlic and olive oil. Garlic being aglio, olio being the olive oil. But we're also going to be adding a few other ingredients You kind of amp this up just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add just a little bit of red chili flakes in there. Adjust it to how much you want. I like a lot because I like it spicy. And commonly this isn't used in aglio e olio, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some fresh thyme into this because I just feel like thyme is one of those herbs that works really well with garlic. And you know, it's commonly not used, but hey, we were given herbs on this universe for a reason. And to give it a nice bright acidicness, we're going to add a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice, and that's just to help that pop a little bit. And to add a little more brightness, we're going to go ahead and add some fresh flat leaf parsley. We're going to chop that all up in a little bit here soon. And this is just one of those easy, simple, go-to pasta dishes if you're just on a quick thing. And of course, when you want to make this, have a nice glass of wine if you want. It, it's not necessary, but I do it anyway because wine and pasta go really well. So to assemble this, we're gonna take our garlic and we're gonna slice this up into tiny, thin slivers like they do in Goodfellas. We're gonna take our garlic, we're gonna slice them up like so. And again, the reason you wanna slice it thin like this instead of mincing it up is cause this way too, it just has less chances of burning and it has better chances of infusing your oil with more of that garlic flavor, which is what we are looking for because this is garlic and olive oil after all. Now this may seem like a lot of garlic. This is about maybe seven to eight cloves that I did, but hey, it's called garlic and olive oil pasta for a reason. Then of course with the time, we're just gonna take our little time right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to pull that off. You're gonna take this here. When you see those little bottom strands, you're just gonna pull it down across from it. But then again, there's no exact science. And sometimes you do have to pull it off from the top like that. But again, that just makes your life easier so you're not getting those twigs of time inside of there. And again, time isn't necessary. But again, the universe gave us these herbs. Why aren't we using them? That's my philosophy. That is totally optional. But anyway, we're also going to take our parsley here. We're going to take these stems off right here. But except we're not going to throw the stems away. I'm going to pull these over to the side. And I'm going to show you guys what to do with those in a little moment. A lot of people like to throw away these stems. These are really good things. But anyway, we're going to take our flat leaf parsley. We're going to bundle it up again like so. And we're going to finally, finely chop this up. Making sure we're not getting a big glob of parsley in there anywhere because this is going to be, again, incorporated with a pasta. We want to sure that we're tossing it really finely. And anyways, with the stems, a lot of people like to throw them away. But honestly, they're not good to eat as a whole thing. But when you take the time to finely, finely, finely slice the parsley, they give you just a nice crunchy texture. And honestly, I found out too that they actually do develop a little bit of a hint of sweetness inside. I don't know what the exact science is, if it's just, you know, the finely slicing part of it, but at the same time, don't let those stems go to waste. You're already spending enough money to get that herbs as is. Use them up. That's what they're there for. Don't waste that. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your food. It's there for you to help you out. It's there to make your mouth, mouth, taste buds, mouth, mouth buds, taste buds, whatever you want to call them, happy. That's what food does. It makes you happy. So let's make this happy. And since I got my mise en place done so quickly, I figure, you know, I sit back and wait for my pasta water to boil, and I'm just going to have some wine because I'm waiting patiently. But anyways, while your pasta is coming up to a boil, again, you do want to, of course, heavily season this with salt, too. Again, that's just going to help your water boil, but at the same time, it's also going to season your pasta really well, so you don't have to add too much of it later on when you're tossing the sauce together. So just a nice, generous portion of salt right there. We're going to cover it back on with the lid and wait for it to come back to a rapid boil. And then once your pasta does come back up to a rapid boil, that's, of course, when we're going to take the lid off. And we're going to add in some simple, luxurious spaghetti. I figure we just go simple with this, too. And plus, it's been a while since I've had regular spaghetti, and regular spaghetti doesn't get its due. So you know what? We're just going to have some spaghetti. And, of course, you're going to toss it into your hot pasta water right there. So you're going to wait a moment to let those bottoms soften up a bit. And then you're going to grab your tongs and you're going to gently move these around until 
They all get fully submerged inside of that hot pasta water. And then you're going to put the lid back on it in a moment to make sure that that water does come back up to a rapid boil because pasta does need to be at a rapid boil when it's cooking in order for it to cook properly and making sure that we're getting it perfectly al dente every time. Plus, we do want to use all of that starchy pasta water to help the sauce later on. But in the meantime, let's start the sauce. So in a cold nonstick pan right here, you're going to, of course, add the glorious quarter cup or so of olive oil to that. And we do want to start this in a cold pan because we're going to slowly bring in this garlic up to temperature, which is what we're going to be adding right now, along with all that glorious thyme leaves. And again, we're starting this low and slow because garlic can burn really easily. So the lower your heat, the better chances you have of not burning your garlic and infusing more of that garlic flavor inside of your oil, which is what we are looking for. So again, just a nice low heat to start with. We're going to slowly bring this up. It is eventually going to start shimmering up soon, but again, just low and slow is the key here. So after about a minute or so, it is going to start to see, start to shimmering up just like that. And at that time is when you want to start adding your chili flakes. The reason we didn't add it along when it was, when it was cold earlier is because sometimes chili flakes do have a tendency of getting too strong and overpowering. We're just looking for a light sizzle right here. So we're going to add, go ahead, add in all of our chili flakes. And again, it's, it's up to you how much chili flakes you want. I'm just I personally like add a lot because I like that heat, I like that spice, but that's just me. So we're just slowly, slowly, see how it's just nice and shimmering, but it's not at a rapid simmer? That's exactly what we are looking for. Just a nice, gentle cook. These are going to crisp up soon, but we're just looking for a nice, gentle sort of cooking. Nothing's going to be overcooked. Nothing's going to be overdone. That oil is still maintaining its color, too, because we're not overcooking anything. We're just maintaining it at that nice, low temperature. And let me tell you, too, the smell of this, when it starts heating up like that is unlike anything you will ever smell in your life. Just the aroma of the garlic and the thyme and the chili flakes infusing into that oil. Ugh. It really is one of those great umami senses that is meant to be smelled so tenderly and so heavenly. Ugh, just look at that. I get so excited about pasta and making this pasta. And this really is, does go under the category of midnight pastas. It was commonly known because, you know, it was just a quick pasta dish to make whenever you got home from a late night or so. You can just whip it up in no time. It cook, takes as long as cook the pasta as it does the sauce. So, again, it's just a lovely pasta dish. It's one of my personal favorites, too. Uh, and, again, if you didn't believe me, I'm just shoving my nose in right there and, ooh! Mama, that is some good garlic right there. And then, of course, at this time, around when the pasta is almost done, we're going to take just a little bit of the pasta water right here. This is going to act for two things. It's going to help our sauce get a little nice and cohesive, but it's also going to stop the garlic from getting too overcooked. But it's just going to stop the garlic from shimmering and getting too burnt and crispy. We're kind of stopping the cooking process, so to speak, for the garlic. So we just want to make sure that it's calming down and not getting too overly done. And then at this time, too, we're going to go ahead and grab all of our lovely al dente spaghetti, which, as Gene Belcher again describes as the dent. Or, in realistic terms, slightly underdone, because the pasta is going to get finished in all of that sauce. So again, we're just grabbing all of our spaghetti, we're adding it in to all of that luscious garlic, chili flake, and thyme-infused olive oil. And then, of course, to make your sauce really nice and viscous, you're going to grab your tongs, and you're going to grab your pan, and you're going to stir and shake everything constantly. Here, I'm just kind of making sure that I get all my pasta out of that pot, because I hate when there's leftover pasta still inside the pot. Don't let the pasta go to waste. Use your pasta. Pasta is amazing. And again, you're just constantly shaking, constantly shaking. You could already start to see the color of the pasta is beginning to change, because all of that starchy pasta is starting to absorb that garlic oil. It's a it's starting to form a nice cohesive sauce along with the pasta water that we added to it. Oh, just look at the color of that. It's starting to get nice and shiny. You're going to start to see it's starting to just really just soak up all of the flavors. Again, that's another important thing about cooking your pasta al dente is because that starch is what helps latch on to the pasta. That's what's going to help your pasta be a much more flavorful thing. When you cook it al dente, you don't rinse it off, and it's just going to be lovely. So, gosh, just look at that. You can start to see it's starting to turn into a nice, luscious sauce. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more pasta, and then we're going to try to add just a little bit more pasta water here in a moment. I just want to make sure that I made sure that I got all of the pasta out of it because, again, sometimes my idiot self 
leave some of the pasta inside. And again, just adding just a nice little more touch of pasta water inside of there to make sure that the sauce is going to be cohesive. And we're just going to give it a nice good shake again to make sure that everyone is forming up nicely. Ugh. Just look at the color of that, guys. Isn't that wonderful? Pasta makes me happy. Makes me so happy. I want pasta to make you happy, too. Because pasta is life. But anyways, back to the show. So you're starting to see we're almost at the point, too, where we're almost getting done here. I just want to make sure that everyone is getting nice and coated. Making sure that we're stirring it around. You can start to see nothing's too stiff. Nothing's too thick or globby. And at this point, too, we are going to add just a tiny little bit more pasta water. Again, adjust to your liking. I'm adding just a little bit more because I want it to be more cohesive. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in our fresh parsley at this time, too. The reason we're adding it now is because we didn't want it to overcook. And again, add those stems, too. Try the stem thing. If you don't like it, that's fine. I just think it's a nice little trick to add some crunch to your pasta. And you can already start to see is again, it's just starting to form the colors with the parsley and that garlic oil. I know I'm saying garlic oil a lot, but again, this pasta is called alio e olio, garlic and olive oil. So stop complaining if I say that too much because that's what we're focusing on right now, okay? Okay. So, oh, I'm just ready to put this in my belly right now. It's going to be so luscious and lovely. I can already do. Ooh. A little hiccup right there. And we're going to add just a little bit more. And at this point, too, this is where we're going to add just one half of that lemon that we had earlier. We want to start with just a little bit at first because, again, we want to adjust this to our legging. Because if you add it in too much early in the beginning, you can't go back and fix it. So just start little at first, and then you can readjust it later on if needed. And again, the lemon, you don't exactly need it to either. I just think it adds just a really nice acidic pop. Because again, we're dealing with garlic and thyme. And those are really good flavors along with some fresh lemon juice. And I just feel like this is a pasta that really loves lemon juice. Ugh. I'm just, ugh. I'm mesmerized by this pasta. This is why I cook pasta so much. Again, people ask me, do I ever get sick of making pasta? Absolutely not. Yes, I did hit my head on the camera, by the way, if you're crazy or wondering what that little ghost image was. Hey, accidents happen. We're human beings. And besides, who's going to be worried about an injury right now where we have some lovely possible... Well, actually, no, that's actually a very bad thing to say. So, you know, focus on the injury. That's kind of a bigger deal. Anyway... Oh, you can already start to see. See how that's kind of a nice emulsified sauce again because we're shaking and we're stirring constantly with the tongs and shaking the pan at the same time. And then again, at this time, the pasta is almost ready to go. You do want to make sure that you taste it to adjust to see if it needs anything. So I took a bite right there, and I felt like this needed just a little bit more salt. Not too much, just a little bit to make sure that the tastes were there. And then, of course, we're also going to add some gloriously freshly cracked black pepper to it as well. So there I am going in with the salt. And then grabbing my little bit of pepper. And then I felt like this also needed just a little bit more lemon juice, so I used the whole lemon after all. So again, make sure that you taste it first before you serve it. Make sure it's to your liking. Because again, when you add stuff, you can't take it back out. You could try to fix it. Maybe it won't turn out as well. But just know, pat yourself on the back because you did try. And that's going to be okay. Consider it a learning curve if it didn't turn out the way you wanted to. Don't beat yourself up if it didn't turn out the way you wanted to. That is how we learn, Remember? And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to learn. Because I want you guys to be happy. I want you to just look at this all as a joy. Not as work, but as a joy. Because that's what food is. It's a joy. Whew, I get so hyped up about food when I'm doing these commentaries. Sometimes my mind wonders. But at this point, we are almost about ready for plate over here. I just want to make sure that everyone gets tossed up really nicely and that we are ready to go. So now, of course, we're going to grab my favorite pasta bowl right here. And again, I'm just going to show you guys again how to plate pasta. A lot of people like to use a barbecue fork. I personally just like to use tongs. I just think it makes it a little bit easier to grip onto the pasta and making sure that you're holding onto it nicely. So again, you're just grabbing a little bit of pasta. You're twirling it inside your little ladle right there to make sure that you're developing a nice little nest right there. I just think it looks good for presentation purposes. Plus, it's a lot of fun to do. And plus, you want to enjoy what you're eating, too. So this is kind of like your little art class kind of thing, too. You're presenting something that you created and you're doing it so wonderfully, too. So there, give yourself a pat on the back for making it look good. You're awesome. Yes, I did get a little spaghetti on the side of my bowl, but I'm just going to grab that so nobody can know that it was ever there. Let that be a little secret. Anyway, we're going to add just a little bit more on the top right there. Get that nice, lovely nest. As you can see right there after I move the freaking tongs out of the way. Just making sure that it's okay. And there we go. 
See, just look at that. Oh, I was proud of that nesting right there. And then, of course, as if this didn't have enough olive oil inside it, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add just a little bit more along with a little bit of fresh parsley. I just think it just looks nice for garnish. You don't have to do it. I just do it again just for garnishing purposes. It's all up to you. Ugh, I am so excited to eat this, but there you go. That is simply a really delicious, quick pasta to make. Garlic and olive oil pasta. Alio e olio. Super simple, super tasty, super delicious. Lots of flavor inside of this. If you didn't believe me, I'm going to show you what it was like after I had my first bite. Of course, I'm going to have my little sip of wine right here before I bunch down on this. And again, I'm just so excited to eat this. Ugh. I'm just going to grab my fork right there. Twirl this up a little bit. Maybe I'll twirl it up. Ah! Oh, well. This is pasta. It's going to be consumed anyway. And after my first bite, I just really need to say... I took my bite, I waited a moment, and then I had to tell you all that I needed a moment to process this. Just give me a moment right here. I sat there in such an emotional daze after taking that bite, I honestly felt like I was going to cry. Like seriously, I could not believe how perfectly wonderful this pasta was. I honestly felt like just bawling my eyes out on the camera, but I didn't because I just want you to show you this is what food does. So I really hope you enjoyed trying to make this pasta again. I really, again, thank you guys all so much for your feedback that you've been giving me on these videos. I do hope you enjoy these. I hope you subscribe, leave me some comments and requests. And again, this is Dude with the Food saying, I love you all. Thank you for watching these videos. And again, enjoy and happy cooking to you all. And I love you. Oh my man, this pasta is so amazing. Mm-hmm.